Um, you know, but when he took that dribble, uh, we just kind of made eye contact, uh, and he made a great, great pass. And uh, you know, I just had to make a layup. Marcus and he may talked about how that final possession kind of showed the growth you guys have made. That you guys made a, a number of smart decisions uh, when you really needed it the most. How, how did that show up? The kind of the lessons that you've learned this season. Uh, from from where you were early on to you know that final play where <clears throat> Jalen passes it up a shot, Marcus passes up a shot, and then you're in the right place. I think it just shows the progression of our team. You know how far we've come um, from game one. You know in that first you know two months, obviously when we were average and we were struggling, and uh, you know we've just been playing the right way. You know last couple months and. Uh, you know, that's a reason why we've been so successful. And, you know, especially in big moments, uh, you know, it's all about just trying to make the right play. Jason, at the other end, can you take us through the defensive possession on Katie? Which one? The last one. Um, I mean, you know, Smart was guarding Kyrie. And, uh, you know, I went to go double. And it was kind of just a broken play. You know, he dribbled on one side to the other. And, uh, you know, when, you know, Durant got the ball at the end, uh, they, I saw the shot clock, you know, just tried to make it tough on him. And, you know, we did. That was a great defensive possession for our team. You know, everybody was um, communicating, um, you know, and we finished off with a box on the rebound. And, um, you know, we pushed the ball. And then for you personally, you led the team in assists tonight. A lot of those came early. Was that your mindset to kind of soften the defense and then attack, or did you flip a switch and turn it on? <clears throat> um, it's just all about reading the game. You know, game one of the playoffs, you know, everybody's a little antsy, and, uh, you know, they try and take away what you – you know, your tendencies and all that. So um, just by, you know, finding guys, getting them going, kind of just opens the flow of the game up um, for me to be able to, you know, pick spots, um, you know, later in the game. Jason, uh, you guys seem to do a good job digging in on Durant, especially early in the game. Um, you know, just what is the approach to a guy like that? He obviously isn't just a man-to-man -man matchup. You're all guarding him, but, you know, just how are you approaching him? Yeah, uh, you know, follow the game plan. And like you said, it's not, you know, don't leave somebody on the island. Um, obviously, you got to take pride in guarding one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, listen to the guys behind you. Uh, you know, everybody's helping. Uh, and like you said, it's not just one guy contesting. It's probably going to be two, two guys. Uh, and just try not to give them any clean, easy looks. You know, that's all you can really, really ask for. Jason, okay, when, is your first buzzer beater? I know you've hit late shots in the last seconds, but this is your first buzzer beater? Um, it might be. Yeah. Okay, when you hit the shot, it seemed like kind of a collective – Everybody was stunned before they kind of cheered. I mean, what was your reaction when it went through? Did you know you got it in before the buzzer? Like, what were you thinking? Yeah, um, I wasn't sure if they would have put some more time on the clock. Uh, I knew I got it before the buzzer went, but I, didn't, I was just uh, – first thing that came to my mind was how much time they're going to have left. Um, but, you know, that shit just happened so fast. Uh, but we'll take it. What's the feeling like to be able to win a game in this fashion, come back from when they had you down 107-102, it seemed like they were a couple of plays maybe from closing it out and then come back and then win in this fashion? Um, you know, those are the best games. Um, the games that are the most rewarding, um, the most fun just as a competitor. You know, we up 15 and we go down five. Uh, and I think, you know, in those last, you know, Three, three minutes, um, and the only thing you got to do is just try to figure it out. 
Uh, you know, play as hard as you can, make the right play, compete, and figure it out. Um, and when you do that and, you know, you win a game like that, um, it feels good. It feels really good. And, you know, especially the first game of a series, you know, you always want to get that one. Jason, follow up on, on Gary's question about that final play. Uh, I've never heard the building that loud. Uh, what was your, like, what did that feel like? What did that sound like as the place kind of went into pandemonium? Uh, that was, it was crazy. Um, you know, everybody was on their feet. We just got a big stop. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. A, a, a buzzer beater, you know, in a playoff, playoff game at home in front of our fans. Uh, yeah, that's probably the loudest I've heard it as well. In last year's series, you were basically trying to carry the offense throughout crunch time. And then tonight, you didn't take a shot after the 515 mark until that game winner at the end. So what does it say just about the way that everything is just kind of transformed with this team and the whole situation that you don't have to be the one shouldering the scoring load at the end? You guys can still win. Yeah, I think it just uh, shows the versatility of our team. Uh, you know, that we have a, a number of guys out there that can make plays on the offensive end. Uh, you know, even, you know, that the, I think the play before when JB drove in the layup, you know, they were denying me the ball at half court. Um, and, you know, leaving JB, you know, on the island one on one, and, you know, we, we love that matchup. Um, so just having guys out there that can obviously go score, but um, create for others. Um, you know, I think it just makes us tougher to guard. Jason, you had some huge plays defensively in this game as well. How much are you taking on your shoulders at that end in this matchup? Uh, I think, you know, not even just this series. Uh, you know, I think that's what we really take pride in as a team is defense. Uh, you know, we feel like we don't uh, well, our mentality, you know, is defense first. Um, and, you know, playoffs, regular season, you know, uh, we just, every, whoever's on the court, you know, whether the guys off the bench or the guys that start, you know, everybody takes pride on that side of the ball. And, you know, we got, you know, the best defender in the league, smart on our team, setting the tone. Um, and, you know, we all trying to match his level. And I think when everybody is doing that, it's contagious. Um, uh, you know, man one through 15. So um, it was just carryover from the regular season. And then there was a breakdown with about five and a half minutes left. Kai got free. Um, and you guys talked about it. It was a very animated huddle. How did that conversation go? And then how does that show the growth of this group that you guys were able to kind of keep it together after that? Yeah, uh, I think. That's the one of the bigger pro progressions of our team. Just when something breaks down, they go on a run. You know, we have a couple slip ups on defense. Um, you know, we we care. Um, it's an emotional game, so it's not going to be a, a a quiet huddle. You know, we got to talk it out. Um, but you know, the the main thing is we figure it out right then and there, and we all on the same page when we come out the huddle um, and move on to the next play. Wrap it up right there. Thank you, Thank you Jason.